Time to install a Dynan exhaust on a BMW 5 Series with a B58. <laughs> Going to show you some tool choices and some tips and tricks to get the job done as easy as possible. All right, everyone, you're under the car with me. Here's the existing exhaust. You know, it's just got the regular shape. We do have an exhaust flap here. So this is eliminated with the Dynan system. So you just press the tab and disconnect that. Now, I have seen, here's another tip, pro tip, I've seen corrosion get in here and that corrosion actually caused damage to the DME, the engine computer. So we're gonna wanna cover this, zip tie it maybe with a bag, and we'll take this little screw off here and tuck it up underneath this heat shield just so that it's safely tucked out of the way. Now we will have to cut the exhaust, and I'll show you a tape method, and then we'll cut this and use a new clamp to install the muffler. Now here's a trick right here. You're gonna to wanna to use a pry bar on these. Here's the mount right here. If you get in there with a the pry bar, you can work that free. I just put a little bit of lubricant on there. I'm just gonna work it back so it's ready to come off for when I wanna get that sucker off. You can do the same thing on the other side. See right there, it wants to go. So just get that ready to go. All right, we're at our dining exhaust. We'll pop this cover off. All right, so we have from our exhaust back here. So we're gonna have to cut the existing exhaust. Now, this clamp, it gives you some extra space on both sides because it slides so well. This is a great clamp that BMW has, and I guess Dynan also uses it to replace mufflers because it's very easy. You just slide it over. You know, you have about a couple of inches of leeway, so if I needed this to be back to about here, I can still tighten it there and I'll still be fine. So I have some adjustment room for any kind of small error in cutting of the exhaust. So you want to take your tape measure and measure from the back of the exhaust to the end of the Dynan exhaust. So we have about seven and a half inches. All right, so let's look at the factory exhaust. And remember I said that there was this little dimple right here. Let's take our tape measure and I have a Sharpie. So from the back of the exhaust to seven and a half inches is right about past where that dimple is. So let me mark it with a Sharpie. So here I am back under the car. Here's my clamp. So my clamp go, can't go any farther than that. So I've just marked the clamp locations where it would sit, right? And the other exhaust piece has to sit partially in. And this has to be also hooked partially in. And you can see the clamp location mar matches up with that dimple. There's that arrow right there. There's my dimple. So that's my cutting point right there between the two. And that should be perfect for installing the new Dynan exhaust. All right, so I'm gonna come back to my holders here and I'm gonna take off 13 millimeter nuts holding the bracket. And lower my exhaust. And it's just gonna hit on the support brace right there. So it's gonna self support. And now it's gonna give us access to do the cutting that we need to do. And now I can use my pry bar and pop these brackets out. Just like that. So here's my other tip. Use a piece of tape and when you line up from the dimple and your tape lines up straight, you know if you drew it off a little bit because it's hard to measure from a well to back. So there's my cutting spot right there because my tape angles match up as I wrap it around the circumference. Now I have the exhaust supported right here with just a pole jack. If you have a friend, you can have somebody hold it. I'm working alone today right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Let me show you two methods to cut this. First one is to use this style cutter, exhaust cutter. And these actually work really well, I have to say. So you just open that up, you have to hook teeth and then line it up so that you're cutting straight 
and then you just gently squeeze and then you start rotating back and forth. And the next method, besides that other one where you have to work it back and forth, is to use a sawzall. I realized I could see, but I don't know if you guys could see. support. So I'm going to go up with it. There we go. So a little cheap method is to put the brackets back on and see I have them just sitting slightly in the rubber piece so that when I finish my cut it's not going to just drop down on me. Oh man I totally cut that and you didn't even get to see it because I pressed the wrong button. So I just finished cutting that down, that drops down and hits the end and ready to take the muffler down. the brackets on. All right, so I was able to catch it with the brackets. Here's the reinforcement, it goes to a single, and I have it hooked up on this side over here too. And now I have to just set it up in there all the way and make sure my clamp and distance is good and start buttoning this up. sure that that's not going to contact. Get my angle. So if I put this clamp like this, it could hit something when you're driving. We want this clamp either on the other side or this side up like this so it's out of the way and doesn't catch anything. All right. Now I just have to tighten the clamps. I think the hardest part is over. I just gotta tighten these up. So one difference of note is these rubber holders, there's a lot of movement compared to the BMW. So the diamond one is actually a smaller diameter. So they give you a washer and a nut that goes on the end. 
So make sure to put these on and smudge that down on each side. Now after the exhaust is on, just check your clearances. Make sure your gap is good on your support brace. Check to make sure you're not gonna contact the heat shield. And even with some movement, this is not gonna touch here. So this is a good spot for that bracket. This is all nice and tight. And that center dimple is exactly where you cut it to get this to have a perfect fit. I do still have to wrap this up and I'll put some dielectric grease in here and we'll tuck that up out of the way. And we'll do an unveiling in a second and make sure that nothing's touching the body. If it is, I'm gonna have to put some washers in. And you can see that nice dine-in symbol right there. Look at that, perfect gap. So for my connector, I'm gonna take some dielectric grease and I'm gonna just push it into the connection. Dielectric grease actually does not conduct electricity. It's there as a waterproof. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. And then I'm gonna bag this and zip tie it. We're gonna hide it up under the heat shield. All right, you know the little bag that the nut and washer came in might be a good starting point to bag that up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna double bag it, I think. Bag that up there. Pull that out. Get my air out. Take the zip tie. Do a nice zip tie there. And I want to wrap this good along here. And we'll put another zip tie up here towards the top. Okay, now we will take this heat shield screw down. You should cut those ends off, huh? All right, my ends are cut. And let's just tuck this, I'm gonna put it right under the heat shield. They're gonna stuff it in this, in the bumper cavity here. Let's put it in the bumper cavity and then hook it to the plastic. There's a little holder on the side. All right, here's a quick pro tip that I like to share. When I do a job, I like to go around and put my hand on everything I've touched because I want to make sure that everything is installed correctly. All right, I have a gap there, so that's good. All right, I gotta cut this off. Get rid of that. All right, I had this loose here, so I'll just touch those two bolt, bolts there, and really that's it. This looks good here. Some kind of protection, or I don't know what that is. You got some tape on there at some point. That's not for me. Unless that came off the exhaust. There we go. That's better. That would look like crap. But everything looks good. Time to lower it down. Dining exhaust looks awesome. Thank <laughs> you.